Well, we're very excited to have the World Water Congress here in, in Australia. I think uh, Australia's done a lot of things to lead the world in dealing with a drying climate, and it's wonderful that that's one of the key themes of this conference, and I'm very proud that you're all here, and I'm looking forward to meeting my water friends from all around the world. Climate change has created a new dimension because to create uh, uh, systems which are climate resilient require a complete change in thinking. We have to get beyond just engineering solutions, get beyond just ever augmenting supply, ever taking from the environment. We have to have a balanced approach. We need projects, policy, money and smart ideas look at both the demand side and the supply side and then we can make better use of the water that we've got. This is one of the most important, if not the most important resource we have. And as we see it across the board globally, we have trouble from ranging from too much water to too little water to uh, not enough accessibility. Water has been my area of research and interest for 30 years and you've got to be here. It's my first time at a World Water Congress and I get to see what other people are bringing in, not just um, in the scope of Australia but also throughout the world. So it's really going to be interesting. The planet is so tiny, so small. You, you need to work all together. We have to stand together to make this world a beautiful place for our coming generations. Gunther Pauli's understanding of how else we might approach the future of water, I think is it's profoundly different from where our thinking is now. So a fantastic challenge for the sector. If we are not inspiring the next generation, then we will never eradicate poverty and we'll never have sustainable growth. We need to take this wonderful slogan that I found in Colombia and a mural painting which says, La madurez consiste en realizar sus sueños. Maturity in life is achieved when you realize your dreams. Thank you.